How's it going, Yalby? We're doing another lineup review. Uh, another one. Well, I know. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. Okay, Yalby's gonna be helping me. Let's go. Good I thought. I thought so. I just. I just wanted yeah, to be yeah. sure because I've done it before. Like fly around the whole thing. Oh, there's some great engines you got there, mate. That's my bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, these these are clearly engines. Um, I love how you've got underneath. That looks straight off of the uh, that middle cannon underneath. What's it called? That was Rip's ship. What was it called? The Overlord on his misfit. Yeah, that looks like the Overlord on the misfit straight away. But interestingly, and probably, well, to me anyway, is these detailing designs which you've chosen to put in here. Yeah, <laughs> of the quadrants of the hemispheres. It's somewhere. Yelby, you have to defeat the Empire. Uh -oh. oh no, did you fall off? Oh me? no! I thought you told me to get off here. No, no, I didn't say get off. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> we'll go inside and check it out in a minute, though. What's this? Be safe and blast shields. I love the nose. The thank lighting you. on that is striking. Nice, thank you. It's really good. That's really I good. Ma I made it so it uh, looks a little bit uh, resembles uh, uh, an old hot rod kind of. Grill. Yeah, yeah. It does. It's got a mean design to it. It's great. I can yeah. see the missile pods, they're awesome. I would say Cambot inspired, but I know that's just the way it, it the way that, that shape looks. Um, and I love the propellers you've got at the back here. These Thank propellers you. are some really nice detailing choices. You know, you could... Welcome back, everybody. Today we're taking a look at another Radavadra ship. So, what's the name of this one, bud? Uh, it's just Wraith. Uh, the spawner name is just like some funny code stuff for my own. Wraith. Nice. Yeah. Another compact ship from you. I like these compact entries. You know? I yeah, I don't it. like on. Look at this. What's the name of this ship, bud? This is ALV. ALV. Alien life form vessel. That's an alien ship. It's a living ship. It's a living ship. Look, it's got a face. Oh, that's that really a cool. Giant lobster. It does. It's a space lobster with wingy bits. It's extremely ugly. I'm guessing the idea was to make it look alien. Thanks, Yelby. And to your right, Tom. It's missing turrets. That's okay, though. Okay, so then, what's the name of this ship? This is the Murin class explorer. It's actually a Star Trek ship that I tried to star made by. Oh right, okay. It's a Star Trek ship. It doesn't look like a Star Trek ship. It does, well, a little bit. <laughs> Again, it's just I the extra pods it. at the side throw me throw it off. Well actually uh it, I think it's the USS Curry from Star Trek actually. Okay. I can send you a picture later. Yeah, it's fine. I believe you. <laughs> Well, it's an interesting design. Yes, and it has two missile arrays mm -hmm. that are linked with cannon arrays, AMCs. That is funny. What's the name of the ship? Uh, this is the Shadow Class Stealth Destroyer. Shadow Class Stealth Destroyer. I love the windows. Thank you. Those windows are cool. That is the bridge. Yeah, I see that. That is nice. And uh, I guess, is that a hangar? Yes. What? The attention to detail on your wedging, mate. Thank you got a really nice hull shape but it's got a plated feel interesting pods coming off the side there I like it wingy bits it's a lot like a ship I'm working on actually 
but it is. Yeah, but yours is way more finished. Tell us all about it. Uh, this was one of my earliest ship designs. I think my second uh, centralized core design. Actually, the second ship that I've saved in a catalog for, because before that it was all like, you know. Mitch, bruh. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It could be just Midge. I'm not really sure. But the point is, it's an awesome ship, and it's called the Generous Searcher. It looks like an exploration vessel with salvage capabilities. It's got some Y holes. Gonna be careful flouting them Y holes. Oh, there's a lot of Y holes. Oh wait, it's Scott, a science. Hey, it's another ship on the lineup review. What's the name of your ship, bud? The name of my ship is Surrey, which means fast. And that's basically what I designed the ship to be. Okay. Um. It's really nice detailing on the wedging you pick in here. I like the black and white, and obviously I'm a fan of purple light. So, you know, I already like it. <laughs> yeah. I've become really fond of the uh, Nox. It's all, all rage. Um, it reminds me... I'm, yeah, I'm getting a, a Space 2001 kind of vibe from it. You know? It's a uh, bit like it, the it, uh, it obelisk. A little bit more wedging would be good. What's like if you get the detail, if you get the distance just right, it does look spot on. <laughs> yeah. However, yeah, had, uh, the color, uh, yeah, I think is better on your version. <laughs> um, I prefer the blue and the white color scheme to teal, to be honest. Wow, you could make a custom texture pack. <laughs> I know, uh, and I may, I might have to. Um, Depends, you know. Players will probably want. Sorry, that. guys. Just, just to fill you in, we already recorded this once, but my mic wasn't working, and we're practically going word for word. <laughs> okay. No, seriously though, this is. Shh. I don't know. It's all about. Yeah, this is. This is wedging. Outstanding, my man. I love it. What's this? So we've got definitive left and right engine pods with main engine, as well. Loads of cowlings. Big chunky tail on it as well. I like that. Yeah. Chunky tail. And then and I, the wingy yeah. bits aren't just wingy bits. They hold guns? Question mark. Oh. Yeah, this is the bridge. Nice. Lots of details on the floor. I used Lots of lots of textures. Bro ship by Nazarius. The bro ship. And of course, it's got two nacelles, and it looks a bit like an Odyssey. Right, he in we go. It's a mix of the Nova and Sovereign. Yep, Sovereign. Wait. Everything needs a weapon system on it. Yep. I tried to keep it as true to the scale of the ship as possible to the mm -hmm. real life aircraft. And it is actually quite fast for um, a ship this size. Nice flaps. Thank you. It's got dual cockpits, one for the gunner and one for the pilot. The front's accessible through hatches on the top and then there's a center hatch in... Um, it's lighting up my imagination. Thank you. Uh, glad I could do that for you. It's got fat, fat front end as well. Good intakes. Nice camera positioning. I bet it's nice and it's nice and small, so you got a good maneuverability, I'm guessing. Oh, very. Very nice. So it oh. has a Yep. Four about a four to one thrust to match ratio. Four to one. Oh my god. Oh well, you can see from the top of the uh, ship there's little glass. Oh I'm just yeah, still going down the belt line round the sides on the outside. Eventually I'll make it to the top. <laughs> and he's slowly, slowly moving forward. At a crawling pace. That's okay. I appear to have forgotten to take shadows off again. Which is strange. <laughs> yeah, I did. Looks like I've had shadows on the whole time. Oh well. Oh. Been looking great. <laughs> That's the way to do it, though, right, isn't it? Yeah. For away. They still look interesting to look at. 
Where is it? Like it's incredibly lit up, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I mean, and I like bright ships. Sci-fi. Yep. Can never have enough lens flare. <laughs> All the rich directors have proved this. Did so, you hear them? Yes. Welcome back, everybody. We're at the final ship of the line, and it's Ryben. So, hey. what have you got? What have you got? Uh, this is the EFSF Akula, and the goal of this stream, essentially I had almost zero interior. Yeah. So the goal was to put the interior in and make it somewhat functional. Well, I got half of it done. <laughs> I got okay. the interior in. However, it's not logic or anything yet, unfortunately. I kind of got sidetracked with about 18% of 